What we're going to do now is to show a demonstration of doing a behavioral risk assessment without the complete sexual history that you saw in the first demonstration. So this will be a behavioral risk assessment that consists of the uh, nature of the current sexual relationships, the number of partner for the patient and her partner or partners, and then again, history and attitudes towards substance use, including alcohol use, HIV testing, and condom use. So Tess, I know you're here because you think you have a yeast infection. Yeah. And we have a specimen, you know, in the lab looking to see whether there's yeast there or not. And if so, we'll give you some treatment today. Okay. okay but while you're waiting, why don't we talk a little bit about your partner situation? Um, oh, all right. Can, can you tell me your partner situation right now in terms of sexual partners? Well, sure. Mm -hmm. um, I um, actually just met a new guy um, four months ago. Okay. And um, things are going great. Okay. Yeah. So you've been with this one guy for four months? Yeah. Okay. And you say going great. What's that relationship like for you? Oh, he's wonderful. Okay. Um, it, um, it, we are have decided to be mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. um, and um, he's just a really great guy. Okay. We're having okay. a lot of fun together. Good. Good. Yeah. And when's the last time they had sexual contact with him? Oh, Probably um, three days ago. Okay, good. And how about with somebody other than him? Oh, oh, probably uh, six months ago. Okay, okay. And so just this one partner in the last three months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how about for him? What's his situation? Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. So you said you've decided to be. Mutually monogamous, so what does that yeah. mean for you? What do you think that means? And that means that I am just with him. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, in terms of thinking about other things relative to what's going on with the two of you, tell me what's happening in terms of any alcohol or drug use. Um, I Well, I drink alcohol on weekends mm -hmm. um, when I'm, you know, not working. Right. Okay. How about for him? Oh, he drinks alcohol. Okay. And how about other drugs? Um, I'm really not sure. Mm -hmm. How about for you? Oh, none. none. No. Okay. Okay. Not sure for him? I don't think he mm -hmm. does. Is it something you've talked about ever? Well, I, With him? Yeah, we just don't normally, I mean, I don't do drugs. He's never done them in right. front of me, so. Okay. I just assume that he doesn't do them. Okay. And how about in terms of getting an HIV test, like for yourself? Have you ever had that done? Um, gosh, I don't remember the last time. Mm -hmm. But you um, maybe have had, what do you think, or no? Would I have gotten one at my doctor? Not unless they talk to you about it. Oh, yeah. So maybe I, never? Maybe. Okay. And how about for him? Is that something you've ever talked with him about? Actually, his HIV? we haven't. Okay. No. Okay, so don't know his HIV situation, mm -hmm. okay. And then how about your experience with using condoms? Oh, well we don't because I'm only with him. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, okay. Have you used condoms in the past with other partners? Um, I did with um, the partner before him, mm -hmm. um, the guy I dated uh, last year. Okay. So I have used them, have yeah. used them? Okay, you've been able yeah. to use them successfully, like you know how to yeah. use them? Okay. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. Okay. But with this current partner, what you're thinking about condoms with him? Well, because, you know, we're, we are um, just seeing each other, mm -hmm. so, you know, it mm -hmm. don't, we don't need to mm -hmm. use um, condoms. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm a little bit, because I'm just sort of wondering, to clarify, sometimes you're saying you're just with him and you both agreed to it. But then sometimes you said you're not sure about him in terms of others. Like, so what's what you're thinking about that? Well, I know he spends, he, he has a couple kids, mm -hmm. and I know that he spends the night over uh -huh. at the kid's mom's house oh. with the kids. Okay. And how, he how says how nothing's going on. Okay. But... Mm -hmm. Not sure. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about this, the mother? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Okay. 
So you're just kind of wondering, how often does that happen that he's over there at night? Um, on the weekends that he gets the kids. Uh, uh-huh. How often? So every other weekend. Okay. Okay, so he's over there during the night for the weekends? Yeah. Every other weekend? Yeah. Okay. All right. And so um, it sounds like you haven't talked a lot about those specifics with him in terms of whether he's got other partners except the situation where he says he's staying with his kids? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And about his HIV situation or whatever. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Well, let me see if I understand what, what you told me is your situation okay. right now. You know, you're monogamous with this one guy for four months, and mm -hmm. you're happy in this relationship. Yeah. And you're just seeing him, uh, and you're not using any drugs, but uh, do have some alcohol use recreationally, right? Mm -hmm. And then for him, you think uh, you're not sure about other drug use or yeah. his HIV I, status. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you're not using condoms with him right now no. because you feel like you're just with him. Right. Okay. And even though you have some concerns maybe about what he's doing, there's nothing specific that no. you're worried about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. So in this behavioral risk assessment scenario, we learned that Tess was in a relationship with one male partner for the previous four months. And she's kind of uh, a little ambivalent in asking her about whether her current partner has other partners. She sometimes thinks he doesn't, but then sometimes wonders if he does because he is involved with his children and the mother of his children and does sometimes stay at her home. Uh, in terms of substance use, she's using alcohol recreationally. She thinks that he uses alcohol too recreationally, but is not sure about other drugs. She's never had an HIV test, and he's never had an HIV test. So in terms of her attitude towards condom use, she's not using them with him, and she sees no need to use a condom because she's just with him. This would be a stage we call pre-contemplative, where a patient is not even ambivalent about whether they're using condoms or not, but in fact, see no need to use a condom. That would be pre-contemplative stage for condom use with her one regular partner. So Tess, um, I want to talk to you just a little bit more about what we talked to everybody about, about prevention, you know, from getting HIV or other STDs. Okay. And I know we just, you know, you just talked to me about your partner situation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think it's helpful if we sort of sketch out what, what is that situation. Okay. So you told me, obviously, you're here. We designate that uh, by the symbol for the female. And then you have one male partner for that four-month period, right? That right. you talked to me about. And you don't have other partners. No. Um, but you do know that he is involved in a relationship with the baby's mother. Right. right? And that sometimes he stays over there. Um, what do you think her situation is in terms of having other sexual partners? Mm. Well, he does, you know, I hear rumors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think the reason they got divorced was uh -huh. because... She was messing around on him. Okay. So, I, I don't. High that's likelihood. Why, yeah. Okay. So that's why I I, mm -hmm. I don't even want to trust that. I don't even think that he would mm -hmm. sleep with her when he goes there. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. But you're but not sure. I'm not. Okay. All right. So let's just say maybe she's got a couple of other partners, like in okay. the last three months or something, like during the time that you've been with him, like four months. Okay. Okay. And just say that there's some question here, although, you know, you're not really uh, thinking that he's definitely sleeping with his the baby's mother, but you have a little bit of question because he stays there. Okay. Okay. So, you know, you said also that you really don't see a need to use condoms even though you have used them before mm -hmm. because really you're just with him at this point and maybe at other times you had other partners or you know not really just in a monogamous situation right okay and you know mutual monogamy being with someone who's just with you if both people are negative know that they're negative for HIV is a strategy for safety right so yeah. that is a good strategy but mutual monogamy does require you know to be safe that the other person is not having other partners, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I just want you to think about that scenario in terms of what you're involved in. And you said he's never been HIV tested, right? Not that I know of. Okay. And so, um, you know, we don't know if she has or not, right? Right. In terms of whether she's been HIV tested. But, you know, she does have other partners. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just tell me, like, just hypothetically, what if it's possible that she might have HIV? Does that mean that I can get it? Well, you know, that would be a scenario if he were involved with her or had been involved with her because you said that he hasn't been tested, right? Yeah. So I'm just saying, you know, it is sexually transmitted. So in the scenario that maybe he's not seeing her now and he's over there just hanging out with his kids, but he was seeing her at some point, obviously, right, in terms of a sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. So without knowing, you know, what do you think of the possibility of this? It means I better go have a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. Like if that were the case, how would that impact on you, do you think? I mean, I could get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, test monogamy um, is a way that women often get HIV because they are in fact only with one other partner like you and they see monogamy as safe. Um, mm -hmm. But sometimes monogamy is how people get HIV because they are monogamous, but their partner's infected and they just don't know. And sometimes the partner doesn't know, right? Yeah. HIV, you know, can be around for over 10 years without any symptoms, without any kind of medical, you know, problem. Wow. When you draw it out like that, it looks a lot different. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, in your mind, you see him. That's the one you're involved in, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you said you think you might have a conversation? I know I will. Mm -hmm. How do you think that will go for you? Do you? Well, if he likes me enough to continue dating me, mm -hmm. we'll go get tested mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the strategy is also that, you know, we, we in New York State have a law that is recommending that everybody you know, over age 13 basically get a test for HIV to know their status. Mm -hmm. So sometimes instead of bringing it up anything around his situation with her is to say, you know, I went to my OBGYN and I had an HIV test today and they said everybody should be tested and here's information you could give to him and say, you know, how about for you too? How about we both get tested or something? We both know each other's status. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Then I'm not bringing up any question about what he might be doing. Right. <clears throat> yeah, some people find it would be less threatening, you know. Yeah. Because it is literally recommended for every adult. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. And what do you think about any protection in between, or is that something you want to think a little bit through? I think that maybe we should start using condoms until we know. How do you think that will go? I'll have to think about how I'm gonna yeah. approach that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, um, you know, it could be approached in terms of using a female condom. Oh, okay. Do you know about female condoms? I've heard about it. Okay, well, it's something that the woman puts in, you know, the vagina before sex. Okay. And the man, you could put it in, you know, several hours, a couple of hours before. Mm -hmm. And the man um, doesn't have to be involved in the decision about that. Mm -hmm. um, women use it for birth control, um, but it's okay. something that you know could be a short-term measure while you're figuring out you know his testing and maybe what's happening with the with the baby's mother. Okay. That sound okay? Yeah. Right. We'll thank talk you. about it more when you come back for your test results. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What you just saw demonstrated was a behavioral counseling strategy that matched Tess's stage of readiness for change. So when we did her behavioral risk assessment, she was pre-contemplative for condom use because she saw herself as monogamous and was uh, not really exploring too much whether her current partner, whom she's been with for four months, uh, is involved with his baby's mother or, or not. So we needed to use a strategy that matched her pre-contemplated stage. She saw no need to use a condom because she's monogamous. So we used a stick figure type of a strategy, which is to explore the relationship status showing the whole picture to the client. 
And so we drew out a little scenario with her and her current partner, and then the mother of his children, and then her scenario, which uh, the patient perceived was that she does have other sexual partners, the baby's mother. So then we introduced the concept of possible HIV in that scenario because uh, the patient did not know her partner status and obviously not his uh, baby's mother status. So with her sort of seeing it differently because she saw if he had HIV previously from having been involved with the baby's mother, he could have that unknowingly and that saw her, she saw that as putting her at risk potentially. So she is willing to uh, explore getting tested with him and possibly using a female condom as a first step uh, while she's exploring um, how, you know, working with him to get his HIV test as well as hers.